Hi guys, it's Chris here from Some Bloke Who Travels A Lot. And today, well, we're at the far more civilized time of day. I'm catching the 12 p.m. afternoon sailing from Coz, which should get me into Rhodes at the equally civilized time of 20 past four. A little different to my last ferry with its 5 a.m. arrival. If you want to watch that journey, it was Athens overnight to Coz with Blue Star. You'll find a link at the end of the video and in the description below. But back to today, a rather overcast day. I arrived at the terminal, short walk from my hotel, and really just waited, and there was not a lot going on. Boarded all ship-shaped fashion. These guys do turn things around very quickly. Stored my bag, photographed in situ just in case, and went off to explore. Now, if you're thinking of taking this journey, and why not, even on a cloudy day, it was a lovely sailing. I think using the ferries, both big and small, is, is a great way to island hop in the Aegean. But watch to the end for the arrival in Rhodes. That wasn't quite as smooth as the sailing. For a four hour sailing, there's plenty to do and lots and lots of space to relax. So there was no need to bother the purser for a cabin on this trip, especially as I had a business class seat reserved. In fact, it appeared that I had the whole business class cabin reserved. As the short time I was in here, I didn't see another soul. Seats were comfy, plenty of space, not a charging point in sight. If you're choosing the business class option, which I'd only recommend on a longer sailing, make sure you have a decent power bank with you. However, as I said, for a short sailing, I wouldn't bother. There were so many places to relax inside and on the deck, and of course, the restaurants and bars. Talking of food, now on my Athens to Cos crossing, I had opted for the extravagance at the a la carte restaurant, which was also an option on this sale. However, I chose the self-service restaurant to bring myself down to earth a little bit. Thank you. No, I said, is that a leg of lamb? I said, no, 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 it's a leg of pork. Oh, it's a leg of pork, I'm a Dutchman. Anyway, we'll find out, I think it's lamb. It was fairly typical of very fair, and I opted for lamb shank, which tasted a lot better than it looked. And after all, I did have a seat here. Well fed and fortified, I had enough time to have a wander around the duty free shop. It's a shop. <laughs> then up on deck to take a look at the island of Simi, our stop before Rhodes looked kind of idyllic. I think that will be a future port of call on my next trip to Rhodes. And as it's only an hour's sailing, it's perfect for a day trip.
Not long after leaving Simi, we started to try and go down to the disembarkation deck. Still had, had over 40 minutes of sailing, I couldn't see what the rush was. But down on the disembarkation deck, I could see the keenness to disembark was even more so. Why on earth? Well, I soon found out. The ferry port is miles from the centre of Rhodes and my hotel's location. Now that much I knew, not a problem. Just jump in a cab. It's a ferry port. A ferry has just arrived. Lots of taxis. Nope. Not a sausage. So if you are planning on taking the ferry to Rhodes, with anything more than a small backpack, get your hotel to book a taxi in advance. I ended up walking all the way to the old port, and yes, it was raining. Now that aside, for less than 30 euros, it was a very pleasant trip, and I'd certainly do it again. Now on the screen now are links to my overnight crossing from Athens to Kos, and also a day out in Lindos, which I highly recommend if you're going to Rhodes, when thankfully it was lovely and sunny. Thank you very much for watching. And if the video has been useful or you've just enjoyed it, please do tap on the thumbs up button. Most appreciated. And if you'd like to see more of my travels from all over the world, please do consider subscribing.